Hello and welcome to the Indian Cultural Forum. Today we have with us a much loved stand-up comedy artist, Aditi Mittal. Welcome to Indian Cultural Forum, Aditi. The context in which we are talking is unfortunately quite distressing, um, which is that of the arrest, uh, the attack on and the subsequent arrest and denial of bail uh, to Munawar Faruqi, who was performing in Indore. Uh, and it was alleged that uh, his act was offensive to Hindu gods. Uh, what is your your opinion on this whole event? Ji, this uh, in in the running scheme of things, uh, as they have been going for the past few years, this is not entirely surprising. It uh, is uh, only has an added element of, um, I guess, fear and apprehension because Munawar belongs to a minority community, and uh, several comedians of majority communities have engaged with and been pinpointed uh, for, uh, you know, being uh, sort of cracking jokes that might be considered of color to certain communities. But it has never come to this. And, uh, you know, the constant denial of bail is what is the thing to watch out for. Uh, because that is different from what has happened with any other comedian in the past. You know, uh, in the context of comedy, uh, jokes or humor, there's, there's often this idea that um, there's a fine line between what is funny and what is offensive um, and not and some of it is indeed valid because you know we know as women um, how sexist jokes have been around for as long as one can remember um, in this context how, how do we shred that terrain and and how does one negotiate this idea of the offensive um, I feel like the, the discussion about what the fine line is, is almost disingenuous in this case in particular, because this is so blatantly an anti-Muslim move. Uh, this is, I mean, there is, uh, from the proof that has been submitted in this particular case, there seems to be nothing out in the public eye to uh, to show that Munawar has been offensive to deities and the video just uh can be sort of construed um, and so this is sort of um, and I think I have to double down on that is that this is uh, an anti-Muslim and anti-minority move uh, and comedy is just sort of the garb in which it is being wrapped up right now um, and because as you very clearly said that comedy is something that and I, I mean this is sort of stems from my personal beliefs as well so if anyone else doesn't agree that's uh, you know of course uh, totally free to disagree on one. But I realize that comedy uh, and what entails comedy is the opposite side of every other coin. Whether it's fear, whether it's sadness, um, you know, it's sort of the other end of the spectrum. That's why they say like tragedy plus time is equal to comedy. And um, that's what it is, is the addition of time to anything uh, can be used comedically. And uh, uh, for now, and since we are talking about uh, the Munawar Faruqi case in particular, Munawar was a victim in the Gujarat riots. He mentions in his stand-up as well, and he mentioned in some of the videos that are circulating of the show, uh, the offending show, uh, where he mentions that his own house was burnt down in the Gujarat riots. As someone who has had to have their life appended by this public incident, why shouldn't he have the right to speak about it? Because I've been doing this for 10 years now. And I think I was also, I started out doing it in a time where it wasn't as precarious as it is. I was always of the belief that if you want to find out if something is palatable or not, you have to first say it out. Because you telling a joke into a hand brush, uh, into your mirror, cannot tell you whether it's offensive or even funny. And so you have to say it out loud in front of somebody. Uh, in order to gauge their reaction, which is why stand-up is also considered a slightly high-risk profession, um, especially for women, where sort of the social constructs of what you can and cannot say and how you should and should not project yourself are so wide and so all-encompassing. Uh, stand-up comedy has been considered uh, slightly a more high-risk profession. And because you have to say it in order to find out uh, whether it's going to offend someone or not, or it's going to make someone laugh or not. And it, of course, varies greatly from room to room. Uh, in the case of Munawar, we saw that his audience was like, you know what, we get where he's coming from. 
uh, whereas it was just these three people or these four people who were really offended by it and had come pre-planned ki we don't even care what he says we are going to be offended by it so in that case there is nothing that munawar could have done there is nothing he could have done um that would have you know made the line or towed the line or been able to gauge a room or anything and and, and i'm thinking how laughter uh, can 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 go both ways right it on the one hand it it has the potential of just reinforcing some of the existing values and traditions uh, on the other hand it can very productively question uh, and critique and and i want to ask you what your thoughts are and and how why 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 do you think it there's so much uh, you know why why has laughter suddenly become so threatening to the present regime a uh, laughter can irk someone because there is nothing you can do in response to someone laughing at you there is i mean and you know what your your job now is to come up with a better joke so that everyone laughs at that person who just laughed at you but not too many people are equipped with that skill and or that kind of presence of mind and that is why because it is not a physical assault uh it is not a uh, um you know uh it's even to a very large extent depending on the kind of humor it is it might not even be an ideological at all and it and it, because i think that when someone laughs at you there is really no response you can give uh and that really irks people in power i do believe that you know a group of people sitting and laughing at something together is a sign of is a sign of solidarity and i mean you know when when the oppressed take that one moment even in the the situation that they are in to have a laugh they almost seem defiant and defiance very much annoys the oppressor it very much annoys the oppressor because it makes them feel like they haven't done enough to crush the spirit of someone so i hope that munawar comes out of this because i mean the other end of the spectrum is of course being caught in something like this means that millions of people are going to look you up millions of people are going to look you up and uh, and i really hope that you know fingers crossed as soon as he's out of this i hope he gets a much larger following and i hope that a lot more people listen and uh, you know a rising a rising tide will lift all boats i really hope so well thank you so much aditi for being with us today and speaking with such courage and uh, clarity about the situation we really hope munawar uh, walks walks out and free soon and uh, um, gets to celebrate uh, all the solidarity that he has received in this time